Greetings one and all, K. Johan here, and this is just another edition of Mindset Mondays, alright, where uh, I'm going through the uh, different chapter, well, chapter in order, chapter by chapter of my book here, One Bullet, Can't Kill a Dream, a Paradigm Shift, and I'm going through uh, each chapter, and I'm going through the prefaces, okay, you can check me out on my YouTube page, I already did chapter one, um, and I thought it went pretty well. You know what I'm saying? It was my first one, so it might got a little long. But I'm going to try and keep them short and sweet. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to try and keep them short and sweet, you know. But uh, that chapter one was The Choice. And hopefully if you got the book, you'll see why I named it The Choice. And um, and also, um, you can um, go back over the, um, <clears throat> the last K. Johan Mindset Monday, and I went into it a little bit more in depth. But anyway, chapter two. I, I titled this chapter Zombieism. Zombieism. Interesting um, name for a chapter, huh? Like, where you get that from? Whatever. But uh, you have to read the book and see. But what I do, I go over the prefaces. Because uh, before each chapter, I have a quote either from myself due, due to my extensive uh, time on this on this sphere, on this earth, in, in this uh, in this dimension, and I've learned a little something. Pretty much, I'm paraphrasing with other great men, but uh, it's good to you really understand. Of course, you read what other people say, but when you take it in and put it in your own words, it really just hits home with a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? So that's why a lot of stuff I take and I paraphrase. Like this right here, you probably heard it. In other forms, but I've read it in so many different forms. But this is this just this just K. Johan way. K. Johan way. You must change your way of thinking if you want your situation to change. Very simple to the point. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it kind of reminds me of um, I was training. I mean, Fun Fitness was training a uh, 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 middle aged. Uh, Young lady, you know what I'm saying? Because she was, uh, what, 59? Uh, but she's had to change uh, what she was doing. And the thing about that word, change. See, that's what that's the word. A, there's the rub. Change. And uh, and, and that's what a lot of people don't like that word. And and even even uh, me and my, even me myself, you know what I'm saying? Um, the word change. And that kind of ties to my subtitle, too, a paradigm shift. But we're going to get into that in later chapters. But we're, right now, we're just dealing with, uh, you must change your way of thinking if you want your situation to change. And the thing about change, it, it, it usually going to come about <laughs> either one way or another. And hopefully, we want positive change. See what I'm saying? And that's usually done, uh, a catalyst. It's some type of catalyst that sparks that. You know, because we get, we, we, we set in our ways and we, as we uh, age, we, I mean, we... We see the world in a certain paradigm. You know, how we see the world is our paradigm. So it's kind of hard to, as we get older, it's hard to change that paradigm. So usually we um, need a catalyst to do that. So that's what's up. And like I said, that sparked from a, we always get a lot of things about thinking. There's a lot of things out there about thinking. Uh, one of my favorites is, um, you know, come from one of my favorite books, as, a, as you know, uh, one of my favorite books uh, was quoted by a wise man, as a man thinketh, so is he. You know what I'm saying? So we know what, what book that is. And that has been taken and people have written their own books where they've transformed that into their own words and written whole books about just that one phrase. But yeah, it's, it's, really, it's real deep and we're going to get into that uh, in, 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 in um, following chapters. But yeah, zombieism. Interesting, huh? Without spoiling the chapter, I mean, it's pretty much, uh, you know, what's a zombie? He's just a, uh, he's a mindless, um, uh, dead, well, undead, I guess we could say, that's just running around. His main is survival, and he's he trying to search for brain. He won't, he just want to eat brain. That's it. That, that, that's his only purpose. He dead now, so it's undead. But it's just walking around aimlessly, just looking for brain. That's the only thing you're looking for, brain. So what's your brain? What are you just aimlessly, I mean, what are we waking up every day just trying to get? I know what mine was. 
It's in the chapter. I know what a lot of people's is. It's in the chapter. And, and when we get so mindlessly chasing it, you know what I'm saying, that we kind of let everything else go because we chasing that brain. Cha-ching. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So that's what's up. So, um, and her, and back and back to this, um, what Fun Fitness was telling me about his client, um, her, her catalyst was, uh, you know, uh, and, and as a lot of people's is, you know, her, her health. Her health has started fading. And then it was uh, her siblings around her. And her siblings are, uh, I think, a lot, uh, well, not that much older than her. And they've been uh, suffering um, strokes, um, heart problems, all of that. All because they simply don't want to change their way of thinking. So their situation can change. And even looking at her, like now that she's very uh, much into working out or whatever, uh, going to say she's, uh, what they said she was, addicted or something that way. She's addicted to working out. That, that's what she said her sister told her. Interesting. They are the whole, what are you addicted to? And you had a stroke and you're a stroke victim. You're a survivor. Praise God, you survived. But what are you addicted to? Have you changed? Was that a catalyst for you? Or are you still doing the same thing? Interesting. But that's what we want. We want some, well, you know, we hate. It has to be a catalyst for change. Because as I say, as we get older, you know. But yeah, but um, you must change your way of thinking if you want your situation to change. One bullet can't kill a dream, a paradigm shift. Mindset Monday. This is K. Johan. Look like I hear somebody struggling under uh, 315. I don't know. I might have to go. I might have to call my boy and see he, see if he can go and see if he can go save. Him. I'll be. Uh, see y'all next week. All right. Bye bye.